It's Pete. I'll be back with another video. Um, today we've already done five of these videos. Um, it's going to be predicting the 2020 Lancaster Jethawks opening day roster. They are the single A advance affiliate of the Colorado Rockies. Um, let's go ahead and get into this video. Um, if you like this kind of content, leave a like. And now let's get into it. Um, starting off with the first pitcher I have is Fredris Para. He was with the Taurus in 2019, also the Boise Hawks. Um, he spent two years mainly with the Taurus. I think he he had a really good season, and I think he'll move up. Jake Bird is my next um, player. And the left-handed Taurus closer in 2019 is my next one, P.J. Poulin. Um... I only saw him pitch once, but it, it was versus the Crawdads, and it was in a safe situation, and he did pretty good. I think he will move up to Lancaster. Um, the next one is Colton Schmidt, and um, he he um, had some time with the Jet Hawks in um, in 2019. Um, the next one is going to be Ramils Rosa. Um, he had a pretty good season. He was injured for a little bit of it, but I think he still had a good enough season to move up. The next one is Derek Watson. He's been with the Taurus for two years. I think he will be moved up to Lancaster. The next one is Alexander Martinez. He was the right-handed Taurus closer. He was lights out for the Taurus, mainly in the first half, and he made the all-star team, and I think he's definitely going to move up. Um, the next one I have is Ryan Feltner. Um, he he was really good. I think he'll be a starter if this team happens. Um, next is Will Gaddis. Um, he will return for a second season with the Lancaster Jethawks, in my opinion. He pitched 2018 with the Taurus. And, by the way, every one of these pitchers so far are former Taurist. That's why I've got the Taurus hat on. Um... The next one is Carlos Gonzalez. He's the first one out of this list that is not a former Taurus. I think this would be his first professional game if he pitched for, for the Jethawks. Um, I don't particularly see him um, starting opening day with the Jethawks. I just um, think that he's probably going to be lower, but... For the sake of the video, we're going to put him here. Um, the next one's Lucas Gilbreth. Um, he's going to return for a second season just like Will Gaddis with uh, um, the Jethawks. Um, he pitched 2018 with the Taurus. The next one is Brillink. Um, I can't pronounce his last name. Um, he he pitched a little bit of 2019 with the Crawdads. I mean, Taurus. Gosh, I don't know if I keep saying the Crawdads. Um, I think he'll be moved up to Lancaster. The next one is Willie McIver. He had a really good 2019 season with the Taurus. I think he'll move up. Austin Bernard, I think he'll stay for with the Jet Hawks for a second season. Um, he spent 2018 with the Taurus but also was on the I.L. for quite a bit of that. Joel Diaz is my next, or Joel Diaz, I think. Maybe I should pronounce it right. Um, now to the infielders. Um, every one of the infielders have been with the tourist. Um Starting off with Coco Montes, he was with the tourist in 2019, hit 13 home runs, 58 RBIs, had a batting average just above 250. Next one is John Cresto. Um, he also spent 2019 with the Taurus. He was injured for a little bit of it, but I think he had a good enough season to move up. Next one is Grant Levine. He's a top prospect for the Rockies. He's number eight in all of their farm system. Next one is Kyle Datris. Um He was also with the 2019 Taurus. The Taurus had a really good team in 2019. A lot of their players are on here. Next one is Taron Vavra. He was also with the Taurus in 2019. I think he should have been moved up 
closer to mid season because he did he was really good. And the next last one is Matt McLaughlin. Um he had a, an okay he had a he hit one homer, forty two ribbies for the um Jet Hawks in twenty nineteen. He spent twenty eighteen with the Taurus and had a breakout season. Outfielders, Dinko Decalotti is my first one. He just spent about half of the season with the um, Tourist. Um, I still think he did good enough to move up. Luke Morgan's my next one. He spent most of the season with the Jet Hawks and the Tourist. Um, mostly with the Jet Hawks, he got moved up to the Jet Hawks one time. Then got moved back down to the Tourist for like five games or less, and then got moved back up to the Jet Hawks, and that's where he finished the 2019 season. The next one is Matt Hearn. Who is te- who is on the um, Yard Goats roster, the um, Taurus Double A affiliate currently? Um, I think he will be back for his second season. He spent twenty eighteen with the Taurus. Um, I think he'll be back. And now let's look at what a starting lineup could look like with this kind of roster. Um, leading off, I've got Luke Morgan. Batting second, I've got Nico De- I mean, no. Let's start back over. Leading off, I've got Matt Hearn. Batting second, I've got Nico Decolati. Batting third, I have got um, Grant Levine. I mean, no, Kyle Datris, excuse me. Uh, batting fourth is going to be Grant Levine. Batting fifth is going to be Willie McIver. Batting 6, Taron Vavra. Batting 7th, Coco Montez. Um, batting 8th, Matt, McL- Matt McLaughlin. And batting ninth, Luke Morgan. Okay, so that's the starting lineup with the roster. Um, I will copy and paste all the players on the roster and leave it down below in the description. Um, That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in another video soon.